Free Symbol Friday, folks. Free Symbol Friday. Got to be a favorite day by now, right? I hope you're coming in, checking in on the Rabbit Design feed on Facebook. That's where I'm usually giving away these free symbols many times as I can, and often as I can on every Friday I can manage. I'm going to try to give away some symbols to you guys. So here we go. We're going to look at a wainscoat. Now, this is a pretty simple thing to assemble yourself, but what's not so simple is maybe the explanation of its best use. So I'm going to go ahead and stretch this to either side of this window, because what I want to do is I want to have this land so that it's landing on the casing of this. I'm going to have to add in a second. Now, this did shrink down the panel sizes, and you could go about this a couple different ways. You could just kind of calc this out yourself, or just double click on this and get into one of these doors here in this, in our stack, in our horizontal stack. And what I'm going to look at is the item width designation. So when I delete this, it's going to automatically take me to the next door and tell me the new adjusted width of these doors. So that I'm going to keep deleting these until I get close to 24 inches. And that's going to be it right there, 26 inches. There we go. So I've got a 26 inch panel's uh, length. I want to duplicate this across the middle of that window. And now I'm going to stretch it all the way toward the other wall. And I want to open it up again. And here, I'm going to get into one of these doors and I'm going to split it a bunch of times. For In fact, I'm just going to click it about six or seven times. Then I'm going to switch to clicking on this horizontal parent and then hitting our equalize button. That's equalizing the size of the. And I happen to just guess right. And there we go. We got a 26 inch panel assembly again. There we go. Got pretty close to equal size panels on either side of that window. The last bit is we're going to copy this and then I want to reflect about. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to actually center it. It on this window, and I can concentrically resize, and then I want to size this down so that it is in line with that windowsill. I might delete the molding from it, who knows? And then we can open this up, and same thing, I'm going to keep deleting these doors until I get to a 26 inch size panel. Now, I did one too many deletes, let's split it vertically one more time, and we've gotten into a 24 inch size panel. There we go. And look at that. Very quickly, we have a very decent looking wainscot. Got a couple of tools I use just to add some moldings to this. And before you know it, we've got a pretty good looking scene here. Turn on our PBR, take a look at what the boat looks like. It's looking pretty nice. The very cool thing about this particular wainscot is that you can look for another door. Let's say we're just going to look for a frame door. Our library and you can take this from any cabinet manufacturer we've got a flush panel door here and as soon as we hover over these assemblies and we're gonna to have to click it three times in the case of this elevation is that it's immediately going to change that door style so pretty quick you can change assemblies panels Now we could do it on a component level or an object base level. So it changes all those panels at once. But instead of changing them all at once, you could do you know a flip where you're doing one wainscot um, that's an extrusion and one wainscot that's recessed, something like that. Anyways, have fun with this. This is a good one. You can always change out the bottom base molding. You can always change out that top rail and get really dynamic with this inside of the cabinet symbol. It's more about just providing video for you and something to work with from the start. So modify it from there as it suits your needs and you've got some pretty dynamic methods for doing wainscoting.